Destruction is huge! I think we did it! Yes, I believe we did, Nina. I must give you credit. Selecting the perfect herb from all of our options was no easy task. <laughs> well, after all, it is my specialty. You have a keen eye. I forgot I even had it stocked. What exactly is that circle? Do you see the white part of this plate? It's filled with bacteria, organisms that are so small they cannot be seen with the naked eye. It's these invisible organisms that have made your villagers fall ill. As for this circle, it's called a zone of inhibition. It forms around the site where you place your prospective antidote. The larger it is, the more effective your drug is at killing the bacteria. Meaning... If we give this drug to people, they won't be afflicted by the disease anymore? Not entirely correct. An antibiotic merely eliminates the cause of the disease. Whether or not the patient is able to recover depends on other factors. Regardless, it will still rid the world of Helgars, right? <laughs> That's quite the medicine. What's more, you don't even need Iatromancy to create it. <laughs> uh, Elena? Ray, a moment, if you will. At last, an end to our worries. Soon the kingdom shall be free of this plague. I hate to ask this, but Dr. Vanell, don't you agree we should keep this medicine a secret for now? Yes. Yes, I do. Why is that? Because the plant used to make it can only be found in one location and in limited numbers. With as few plants as there are, there's no way we can make enough doses for everyone. And where might we be able to find these elusive plants? Mount Cotterant, and nowhere else. It's just to the north of Cotto, and the quickest way I know to get there would be by ferry. If Kato's along the ferry route as well, their citizens might also have fallen ill. This is awful. I know it's better to keep this hidden, but I still can't help feeling... Nina. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go get Elena. Before we do anything, first we need Uncle Midas to get well again. Morning, Uncle Midas. You feeling any better? Well enough, but I'm much too old to go through all that again. You should count your lucky stars since your quick recovery is pretty miraculous. I heard. It seems I was struck with the rot. I owe you two. It's all thanks to Nina. Her many years of diligent research are what paved the way for this discovery. Without her research, it would have been almost impossible to find the plant that contained the appropriate compound. Filberto would be pleased to hear that. <sighs> Thanks. Well, now that Midas is back to form, I say we're eastward bound. Uh, about that. I hate to put a damper on things, but after the disaster with the first one, they've stopped running the ferries again. Please tell me you're joking. At this rate, we're never going to be able to search for Chloe. If you've the stamina, I knew a way to Kato, and maybe her. Hmm? The trail leads from where we repaired Elena, and over the peak of Galcalemthus. A trail? There? It fell out of use over a century ago, so I'd be more surprised if you did know of it. Once we're over, we'll make for Mount Cotterinth. The herbs for your medicine can be found there. And I imagine the Kato Seaport will need said cure if we hope to see their ferry services return in a timely manner, yes? Then you will assist us. Thank you, Maester Felgreed. Stop. I'm only accompanying you because of Albert and Elena. And, I suppose, for the sake of Ada itself, it's not uncommon for the residents to visit flatland settlements. We should have the cure on hand in case one succumbs to the rot. Excuses, excuses. Silence, whelp. Now, unless anyone wants to experience what I did, I say we get moving. The start of a beautiful friendship. He's just not good at expressing himself, but he'll come around. I'm sure you and Albert can both sympathize with his plight. Huh? The hell's that mean? I think I might have an idea. <laughs> <laughs>